over the snow days, yeah. except for the kids are happy again, even sure. though nothing really uh, developed in most areas. We still have a little bit of freezing or drizzle out there. I'm not so sure it's freezing in very many locations because most spots have warmed above freezing this afternoon. On our storm profile radar, though, you can see it over our eastern counties now, but that's even beginning to wind down at this hour. But because some temperatures are still right at or just below freezing in many counties uh, surrounding Austin, the National Weather Service has extended the winter weather advisory for our northern in most counties, Lampasas, Bell, and Milam counties, still under winter weather advisory until 6 p.m. You know, you get down into a low spot where the temperature is still 29 or 30 degrees, and there are a couple of those out here with a little drizzle. There could be a patch of ice, kind of like what we saw on a very isolated basis around the metro area and out in the Hill Country. Well, that was a little worse out in the Hill Country this morning, especially out there around Fredericksburg and in the Burnett area for a while, and of course to the north. Uh, temperatures are right now freezing still out in the Hill Country 31 in Burnett, 32 degrees in Lano, some upper 20s in the coldest spots out there right now. In the metro area, almost uh, everyone has warmed above freezing this afternoon. A couple of the lowest valleys still right at 32. And off to the east, it's still 32 up there in Cameron, but most locations warming to the mid-30s. That's still 30 degrees colder than normal. Outside over Austin right now, we've just been gray and dreary all day long. That light mist that fell earlier, had that been a little heavier, we could have had really had some problems this morning, but it really didn't kick in until 9 or 10 o'clock, and that's that the temperature was starting to warm. So it worked out pretty well for us here in the Austin area today. 37 degrees is where we are right now. By 10 o'clock, down to 31 again. We're headed to freezing overnight. And then might see a little fog develop overnight. That could be a problem. More on that in a moment. 37 cloudy in the city. It's 35 at APIA with cloudy skies. Winds are down to 3 to 5 miles per hour, so not a significant wind chill factor out there. And that cold weather is still hanging on in the eastern two-thirds of the state. Below freezing up in Dallas, 39 over in Houston, but beginning to warm up out to the west. And we will warm up a little tomorrow, too. Here goes was that latest winter storm. Two winter storms in two days across Texas. But as it turned out, the worst of it ended up being in north and northeastern parts of the state instead of focused here on central Texas, as the computer models were uh, mostly indicating last night. So they had another little bout of uh, that activity up to the north that they're not very happy about. Here comes some dry air working in here uh, during the overnight period. But that may result, uh, we may actually see with the skies clearing just a little bit, a little bit of fog developing. But tomorrow, after we see some morning fog, if we see some morning fog, our winds are going to go southwesterly, much warmer weather, 30 degrees warmer tomorrow. In fact, take a look. This is what we're forecasting for the weekend. Uh, a slight chance that we see a little fog in the morning. And if you happen to get into fog late tonight, early in the morning, be careful. We'll be below freezing. That can put a little glaze of ice on a bridge. Fog, freezing fog, very dangerous. But then, 30 degrees warmer tomorrow afternoon. Highs in the 70s then, 40 degrees warmer in some locations on Sunday. We deserve a good weekend. I think we've got one coming. All right, lows tonight. Most of us will fall back into the 20s for one more night. But then tomorrow, look at that warm up. Low and mid 60s should turn out to be a nice afternoon. All right, slight chance of a little fog developing if it forms and you're below freezing. Freezing fog is what you have in the morning. Slight chance of that early. Then the sun comes out in the afternoon and should warm to 63 unless the clouds hang on too long. But we think it's uh, going to be pretty nice in the afternoon. Same thing on look at Sunday. Even better, 73. But wouldn't you know it, we have another front coming with a slight threat of some ice again on Tuesday. I think that'll be the last one of the year, though. Everything looking warmer after Valentine's Day.